What a ride. The greatest ride Hawkeye fans have ever experienced. It's a ride no one wanted to see come to an end. It's like when you're at an amusement park for the first time as a kid and you never want to get off the roller coaster. That's exactly what these last two years have been like for Hawkeye fans. Unlimited thrills, incredible moments, but we all knew the end was coming. The Iowa women lost in the NCAA championship game to South Carolina 87-75, but left an impression on the game of basketball that will never be duplicated. Riveting, unmatched, historic, whatever the word is you want to use, the Hawkeyes captivated the basketball world like no other team in history. That's not hyperbole, just fact. This team is the greatest team in Iowa sports history. Men or women, any sport it's not even up for debate. They made non-believers believe their games were must-see TV, appointment viewing for fans. Look at the ratings, unprecedented. The amount of joy this team brought to people's lives cannot be calculated or put into words. Just think about what Lisa Bluter and the Hawkeyes accomplished. Three straight Big Ten tournament titles, back-to-back -back Final Fours, two straight trips to the national championship game. Only nine programs in the history of women's basketball have played in back-to-back -back title games. In this year's tournament, Iowa beat Kim Mulkey and LSU, beat Gino Ariema and UConn, and they're the only team to beat South Carolina in the last two years. Iowa, we're talking about Iowa, taking down some of the most iconic and biggest name brands in the game. And certainly, the Hawkeyes are not where they are without Caitlin Clark. In my opinion, the greatest women's college basketball player of all time. I remember interviewing Caitlin at Dowling High School after she committed to Iowa, and her goals were to take the Hawkeye program to a level it's never been to and to win a national championship. At the time, I think many thought she was a little crazy. Well, she almost did the unthinkable. What Clark accomplished in four years at Iowa, we will never see again. I guarantee it. And I'm not just talking about all the scoring records, but raising the bar for women's basketball like no one has ever done. Most championship programs are riddled with five-star recruits and future pros, some even coming off the bench, not Iowa. Caitlin Clark was a 10-star recruit because of the way she elevated her teammates from good to great. She believed, and in turn, so did they. The rare athlete that no matter the opponent or how big of an underdog, you felt like Iowa could win because they had Caitlin. Even with the weight of the world on her shoulders, Clark always delivered on and off the court, fiery and competitive, classy and humble. What's the saying? Don't be sad it's over, be happy that it happened. Iowa may have lost to South Carolina, but we won. Basketball won, the entire country won. For that, we can only say thank you. It was one hell of a ride.